Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 31st of May 2020. You will never guess where I am. This is the view from the new bamboo long and tree house. There will be a terrace here. Construction of the tree house. And the roof is almost finished. Hello Hima. This month has been really defined by a lot of bamboo construction and a lot of mangoes. Yeah, and a lot of mangoes, a lot of mangoes. Really many mangoes. <laughs> mangoes everywhere. I have mango up to here. Now I've even started to make mango chutney with chilies and freeze it because otherwise it's just compost but it's also good for the compost but yeah I, I just I cannot eat like 100 kilos of mangoes fresh raw in a couple of days There's also like an extension of like bamboo, the little terrace where you can sit and chill. Bamboo rack for placing flowers and stuff like that with a little nice. This is this is my this is my d dream roof. And the concept here is just like super mega nice, but I don't like that they use the nails for uh, putting everything together. It's not so nice. But the cool thing is that it's like, <clears throat> you know, it's 100% bamboo. You can handle it much better than a roof made out of uh, leaves or other burning material. Because this, if, if there are like bugs going in, you can always like cover burn it and just kill off the bugs inside. You cannot do that with a light roof made out of leaves or grass because it's then just burn. So I just love this concept. A dome. Bamboo dome. There will be growing all kinds of th things here. Probably here's the mulberry already getting in touch with the dome, <laughs> where there will be a ton of mulberries probably, and other plants. And a new gate under construction. The Mexican spinach fence and then Mexican spinach. It's insane how, how well it grows. Lex new asparagus field. I don't remember if I talked about the customized bucket for picking fruit, especially papayas, because the trees are very tall. This is what's happening. Mangoes are dropping. Freezer is full and we still have a lot of mangoes on the trees. And I think there we will have mangoes on the trees until end of June, but in small amounts. <laughs> New flower. Don't think this will produce anything.
This is the banana plant that fell down during a rainy storm and I cut off <laughs> like the tops because otherwise it's impossible to raise. And now they're like shooting new leaves out of the small pieces that were raised, some of them. I mean it's incredible how plants and trees they can you can nature will always survive no matter what humans will do because I mean it's designed to survive everything is designed to survive so we can actually destroy the planet one million times but the planet will still survive and and everything will grow so if you're like I remember I remember one guy I worked with in Danish agriculture he said doesn't matter just let people use all the fossil fuels because the faster they will use them the faster we will change and the faster the fuel industry will will die so I mean there are two options either we overuse everything to for total destruction or we start thinking in new ways so there are like probably are some more options but there are like two obvious options either we overuse and destroy everything two we start thinking about how we use things and what we use in the temple it's end of season of cashew nut and cashew nut fruit and there is also cashew nut still on the tree and the big land with the solar panels and the longan longan land And back at the tree house, the professional builders are here. This is the technique where you split the bamboo, fresh young bamboo, and then you can make it uh, like a floor or like a wall. Yay! <laughs>